Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. Let me ask you a question. What is something that just gives you a lot of joy? Something that when it happens, you're just like, I'm the luckiest person alive. I'm really excited to get to have this experience. Today's Psalm, Psalm 32, David kind of shares that with us. Something that gives him immense joy. Listen to it. We're going to walk through this whole psalm. So if you have a Bible handy, you might want to grab it as we walk through the first seven verses here. So it says in verse one, blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Here we have David just shouting out the joy of forgiveness the blessing of knowing that your sin is not counted against you and it brings him great joy. And he goes on in the rest of the Psalm and he's gonna tell us how we get to experience that joy. Look at the next two verses. It says, for when I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long for day and night, your hand was heavy upon me and my strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. So this gives you a great picture of the cost of our sin and the weightiness of our sin. David had been keeping a sin private and that private sin had been eating at him, making it feel like his bones were wasting away. Uh, it reminds me of that little kid, you know, who steals that candy bar and puts it in his pocket when he's in the store and he gets out to the car and, you know, he starts to feel the guilt welling up in him. And then he just bursts into tears and he says, mom, I took this candy bar, you know, and, and there's just this weight when we have a sin in our life that isn't confessed. And David is realizing it. And he says, you got to acknowledge that weight of the sin. And then he goes on in verse five and he says, I acknowledged my sin to you and I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. It's really that simple. Removing the weight of that sin and that guilt and that shame is as simple as acknowledging it to God, confessing that sin and saying, God, this is how I screwed up. Please forgive me. And the great promise that we have through Jesus Christ is that he will forgive you. That Jesus on the cross took the weight of that sin. He took the dirtiness of that sin. He took the shame of that sin. He took the guilt of that sin and he bore it for us. So when we say, please forgive me, he is able, willing, and ready to do that. Then finally, look at verses six and seven. Therefore, let everyone who is godly offer a prayer to you at a time when you may be found. Surely in the rush of great waters, they shall not reach him. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. So after David talks about his joy and how he repented and how he found forgiveness, he tells all of us, do this now, right? While there's time, repent. While there's time, turn to God. Don't wait for there to be the flood of rushing waters coming over you. Don't wait till you're trapped in that sin and that your sin is uncovered without your confession. He says, now is the time to repent. This is how David talks about this great joy that he experienced in forgiveness. I hope that that encourages you today. I hope it makes you really excited to pursue confession and to pursue that forgiveness that God gives you. Have a great day, Calvary.